Hi guys, my name is Regina, Gina for short, and welcome to Gina B Homeschool. This will be my first video that I will be posting on YouTube. So if you've clicked on this video for your very first time, welcome. I am a homeschool mom of three kids. I have a six-year-old, a two-year-old, and a four-month-old. On my channel, you'll find uh, different types of videos, homeschooling videos, of course, but also motherhood, lifestyle, some DIYs in there, some renovation videos, and some country living. So if you enjoy those types of videos, make sure to subscribe, let's be friends, and uh, join us on this wonderful but crazy journey. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a lesson with us. So keep on watching if you're interested. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you how we do a science lesson. So we have been doing anatomy, the human body, and keep in mind that my kids are pretty young. These science lessons are geared toward my six-year-old and my two-year-old, so it's going to be age appropriate for them. We've been learning about the human body and we have been loving it. Today we're going to be talking about the reproductive organs, so it's going to be a fun one, it's going to be an interesting one. <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna be some questions about how babies are made, how it's done. So if you guys wanna see that, just keep on watching. I wanna show you all the resources that we have been using. So I did not buy a curriculum for this human body unit study. I'm using things that I have and have accumulated over the years. And one book in particular that we've been loving, um, I will be showing that to you as well. So you can kind of get an idea how you can actually make up your own unit study with the resources that you have at home. Libraries are a really good resource, YouTube, any free printables that you can get online. But I'm going to be showing you what I have. So if you do want to purchase anything and something catches your eye, you definitely can do that for any type of unit study that you are making up without buying a curriculum. Sometimes you think that you do have to buy a curriculum to do a unit study and that is far from the truth. And I really enjoyed making up my own unit study. Will I buy other unit studies from other uh, companies? Of course I will. I'm a homeschooling mom. I will be definitely doing that. But for this one in particular, I decided just to make up my own unit study and I've been really enjoying it. So if you want to see the resources that we have been using, I'm going to be showing that to you right now. And then I'll show you how we do the lesson as well. So just keep on watching. I'm going to be turning you guys around and showing you the resources that I have been using for this unit study that we have been doing on the human body. So I wanted to start by showing you guys what we have been using in the sense of resources. So one of the first things that inspired me was uh, this book right over here, The Human Body by Smithsonian. I hope I said that right. Yeah but it's an amazing book on uh, the human body and it is a little bit advanced uh, for my first grader, but we've been learning about the reproductive system. So we're gonna be showing you the activities that we're gonna be doing for today. So one of the things here we have this name, his name is Fred. Okay, so this is Fred. And as you can see, he has organs in him. It's all like messed up because our, my kids were playing with it, but he has his skeletal system, the muscular, um, and you could just see that we can actually, uh, feel it's kind of like squishy, <laughs> the, um, the organs and we can take it out and we can kind of analyze it. There's the small intestine, the large intestine and so on and so forth, but it's kind of just like all squished in there right now for the reproductive organs. We don't need to use that because they don't have the reproductive organs in there. So that's fine, but it's just a nice tool for you to use if you are doing the human body. And I think I got this at, I got it at Walmart for like 20 bucks. I thought it was a good price. I mean, it's not like the best of quality, but it, I think it's good for my uh, my kids. They're so young, so it's, it's a good resource. So the next thing I have here is this Melissa and Doug puzzle. And I got this a while ago, and I finally put it to use with our unit study on the human body. So we have here, we're, we're learning about the organs, and we have the, the male reproductive organ, and then we have a female reproductive organ here today too. So the boys are just putting the male one because they're both boys, but we will be, um, I'll be showing them the difference between the male and the female 
and whatnot. And this is actually a really great book that I've been using and that where I got most of my ideas and the readings from. So right now, today, we are actually focusing on the reproductive organs and we're going to be reading this myself and Nicholas. So Nicholas and I will be reading this. And uh, the one I what I do is I I, um, I photocopy the uh, the reading and I highlight what he will be reading and we read this together almost like as a read aloud just he reads some of it I read some of it and then we can kind of enjoy the reading together I feel like it helps him understand more because he's the one reading it and it helps him with his reading right so he really loves doing this so he'll be reading the um the the highlighted area and uh, I will be reading the one that's not highlighted and then it'll tell you what it tells you in the beginning. That's one of the first things that we did is that we actually made uh, a poster and we traced out Nicholas. So I'm going to be showing that to you in a second. Um, let's go to our poster. So as you can see, this is our, this is our Nicholas poster, <laughs> right? Nicholas. Yeah. Right. So that's Nicholas. Mommy. Okay, baby. Okay. That's Nicholas. And we did the brain already. We did the heart. We did the uh, spleen, the gallbladder the uh, kidneys, the pancreas, the bladder, and today we're doing the reproductive organs. Except so it's a little bit bigger. And yeah, <laughs> it's a big, head. we kind of made him he, long he a little bit. I think he should have been shorter, but it's okay. We live and we learn. So this is Nicholas's poster, which he will be pasting his reproductive organs there uh, shortly, and you'll, you'll kind of see that as well. Another thing that we've been using is this My Body poster, and it's an interactive body poster that has different types, like it has the skeletal system, it has the My Body, the muscles, and uh, the organs. And so here is the poster that we're using, My Organs. So Nicholas, can you press go? The organs of My Body. Okay. Press a button to hear. So can you show them? Lungs. The lungs are a pair of large, spongy organs. Our bodies require oxygen in order to survive. The lungs provide us with that vital oxygen while also removing carbon dioxide. So as you can see, we can uh, press a certain organ. It'll give you information on it. Uh, you can learn. You have quizzes. Uh, it's just a wonderful poster. We've really been enjoying this for our unit study. So I definitely recommend this. I forgot how much I paid for it because I got it a while ago. I got it last year, probably in the summer. So this is a really great poster if you're doing the uh, human body. I definitely recommend this poster. So I also have this science board that we have here and it has definitions of the human body and just really cool facts. So we have this and I like that it's in um, a more mobile kind of board so we can do science anywhere. We can do it upstairs in the kitchen. Uh, in our uh, on our island on our dining room on our couch so it's just really nice to have this because we don't really have to only do um, the science here um, in the school room we kind of can go outside and do science and I like having a little board with definitions because we can kind of go over it as well so that's kind of really fun and I got these definitions uh, from for teacher worksheets and I am a member I pay a membership yearly and it's like 20 30 bucks i forgot how much i paid but it's very inexpensive and they have really cool um they have science there uh curriculum they have um math language arts anything you can think of so this is really really cool so we have this little uh, science board and if we once we go into a different unit study i'll change the the definitions here uh, to if we're doing like we're gonna do marine biology and with the good and the beautiful I got that curriculum and then we're gonna be uh, Posting uh, certain definitions on there, too So I kind of got that idea from there, but you can definitely make your own as well. So that's pretty cool Okay, So let's read Nicholas. Okay, you read the, your your section, which is the um, the one highlighted Okay, I have organs in my body that I can't see. One day, these organs will make it possible for me to be a mother or a father. These organs are called my reproductive organs. If I am a...
Already, so myself, Nicholas, and I, we have read this, right, Nicholas? What do you think? Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Easy peasy. Okay. So Nicholas, right now, he's going to be Nicholas. Are you? Which one are you? Are do you have this, the uterus, the ovary, or do you have here the testicles? Which one do you have? If you're a male. Testicles. Right. So you're gonna cut out this one. Inside of the circles. Yes. Gonna... So you're gonna color the testicles purple and then the outside right here see see where the, the circle you're going to color it purple here and the outside area you're going to color it gold gold that's a cool color right but first let's look at the picture here that we have here so right here do you see here look this is a female reproductive organ do you see it yeah see this is where mommy see the uterus is this the boobs? uh yep yeah, that's the boobs that's where the milk the milk ducts are you see that the nipple that's the that's the boobies <laughs> And um, right over here is the female reproductive organs, and this is the male reproductive organs. This is what you have. Do you see that right there? Yeah. And then as you grow up, we'll get more into detail of it, okay? But this shows the circle of life. Look, the sperm goes into the egg. Do you see mommy has an egg? Daddy has a sperm. And then it becomes Wait, a baby. The baby does, comes in the uterus. How does the sperm get inside the Daddy baby? puts it inside mommy, okay? Oh, so you take it out and then... Exactly, exactly. And we'll get more into that later on. Then, so then the sperm fertilizes the egg. Then it becomes a baby like Lily. Lily comes inside mommy's uter what? uterus. So so you can do an egg. I still have eggs. I still have eggs, yes. But if daddy doesn't have any more sperm, mommy can't have any more babies. That's why, right? But mommy has, well, how many babies? How many babies did mommy have? Three. Three, right? We had Nicholas, Michael. Where's Michael? Where's Michael? Let's see it. Yeah. So I had Nicholas, I had Michael, right? And, and then upstairs. Lily. Yeah, Lily's upstairs right now. She's napping. So, okay, Michael, do you see the cycle? Yeah. So sperm and, and egg, baby, and egg. child, you become an adolescent, which you become like a, you know, a teenager, and then you become an adult like mommy and daddy. Cool, huh? Okay, so let's color, let's get into coloring your, um, your reproductive organ, okay? So Okay, so Nicholas right now is coloring you you his drive. male reproductive you know organs. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. Nicholas is gonna stick it on. Let's see where we have to stick it on. The, the my testicles go here. So right where the bladder is, close to the bladder, right below the bladder. Okay. So let's go put it on. Yeah. Okay. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, oh, I can't our, our help human feeling. body. Looking good. Good job. Okay, and we're done. That's it. So guys, that is it. That's how we do our unit study for the human body. It's pretty simple just because the kids, they are young. They're not too old and it's perfect for them. They get to know a little bit about the human body. We're able to learn and it's pretty fun. What do you think about it, Nicholas? Good. Yeah? It's fun. It's fun, right? It's probably one of your favorite things, right? You never knew anything about the human body, right? Yeah, so I've been learning a lot too, so I've been really enjoying it. So if you guys like these types of videos, I definitely don't mind filming them. So make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it with someone that you feel that would benefit from this, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.